Last week I went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and I loved it because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. It's not even funny. Whenever they would talk about like candies or the treats that they eat in the book, I would always imagine what it would taste like and what it would look like and I always wanted to try it. So of course my first stop was Honeydukes and I picked up a couple of treats that I'm going to talk about in this video. Um, there were a couple things I was kind of disappointed in that they didn't have. They didn't have the cauldron cakes or the pumpkin pasties, which I, for some reason, really wanted to try those. I don't know. They talk about them in the book, and I always imagined that the pumpkin one, you would think it would just be a cake, right? But I always imagined it would be like pumpkin shaped and made out of pumpkin bread, and I just thought it'd be really good. I love pumpkin bread, so I would have gotten that if they'd had it, but they did not. They had a lot of like peppermint candies, like they had peppermint imps, imps, and they had, um, these like tooth stringing, flossing, peppermint string things that were mentioned in the book, but I didn't try those. I don't really like peppermint except in my gum, so I didn't want to get like peppermint candies. Pine cones on my foot. And there were a lot of candies there that were not from the book. They were just like American, the type of candy you could get at any candy store. So I didn't get any of those because I figured they were kind of overpriced. And what's the point? Like the whole reason I was buying the candies is because they were from the book, not to eat candy. Like I could eat candy anywhere. Oh, I got a couple of different things. Oh, 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 I have to talk about butterbeer, which I don't have one here. I do have a pumpkin juice that I'll talk about that I brought back with me, but I do not have a butter beer. Let me just preface this by saying that I did not have high expectations for the butter beer. I had a very specific idea in my mind of what it should taste like and what it should look like and what texture it should be and I had heard that their butter beer was made out of butterscotch and butter and a bunch of other ingredients that together sounded a little bit nauseating and very sweet and just kind of gross. So I did not have high expectations for it at all. My family went and we were told that the frozen butter beer was better that I imagined would be like an icy, so I was kind of weirded out by that. I'm like, that is not the texture it's supposed to be. But we got one frozen and one unfrozen, and we all kind of like tasted it, because I don't know, we weren't really thirsty. We just kind of wanted the experience. The non-frozen one was kind of gross. Um, I tried that one first, and it disappointed me. It's flat, and it kind of tasted a little bit carbonated, which was kind of weird. Um, I didn't like it, but the frozen one was exactly what I would imagine butterbeer to be. It wasn't like an icy. It literally, I don't even know why they call it frozen because it, I mean, it was cold, but it was just a drink. Like it was like a drink that had been put in the fridge. It wasn't icy. It wasn't a weird texture. It was so perfect. It was thick on the bottom and frothy on the top and it wasn't carbonated. It was just this like liquidy goodness drink. It was so good. It was exactly what I imagined butterbeer to taste like. The only thing that was weird was that it was cold instead of hot, which in the book, you know, it's a warm drink. But honestly, in the book, Hogsmeade Village is like this really northern snowy place where you'd want a warm drink. And Orlando, Florida, where it, it's 100 degrees, people don't want a warm drink. They want a cold drink. So it makes sense that they make it cold. But I wish I could try a warm version of it too. And then I got Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. Which I think you can buy these like bookstores and stuff. I don't think you have to like buy it, you know, there or online. I think you can buy this stuff online. For the rides, there are only three rides in the Harry Potter part of the park. I only did two. I did the two scarier roller coasters. I didn't do the Flight of the Hippogriff, which is kind of just like a family friendly roller coaster that didn't seem worth the wait. Um, these are the Every Flavor Beans. They kind of just look like jelly beans, but I hear that there are some gross ones in here. Anyway, I'm like bouncing around subjects. This stuff gets me so excited. But the Forbidden Journey, the one that goes through the castle, is amazing. Like, I did it twice. It was so good. The other roller coaster is just like any other roller coaster. Okay, I'm kind of scared. So I heard that for every color, there's a good flavor and a really horrible, nasty flavor for like each color. So there are certain ones that like I definitely would be scared to try. Like this green one that could be like grass or dog food I don't know but maybe pink okay I'm gonna try it I'm like really nervous okay oh that's a good one okay I knew if I stuck with pink I'd be good this could be like dirt or earthworm look at this that's really I do not want to try that one maybe blue what could blue be what could be bad about blue? That was good too, blueberry. If you dare me to try this like ugly brown one that I showed you that could be earthworm. I bet it's like dog food. Dog food, ew. I do not recommend eating the earthworm colored jelly bean if you get every birdie bots, every flavor beans. Okay, then I got a sugar quilt. 
which um, this is just like a lollipop. I got this mainly for my little sister because she wanted it. And I figured I'd show it in my video just to show you guys what it looks like and then I'm going to give it back to you. But in the book they talk about having sugar quills in class where they're writing their homework and then they can like eat the, the quill, like suck on the quill. So I don't know. It's just a lollipop. And I don't know. I haven't tasted it so I don't know if it's sweet or if it's sour or what kind of, you know, what it tastes like. But it says it contains egg which is a little weird. I don't really know what egg would be doing inside of this lollipop, but maybe it just affects the magical powers, you know? I kind of wish we still wrote in quills. I feel like it'd be really annoying, but it'd be kind of cool to learn how to write with a quill. I've never done it before. I got a pygmy puff, which Pinecone has adopted this as his little best friend. He, like, loves this thing. He cuddles with it every night. It's so cute. Um, there's a little clip in my last video on my beauty channel, the glitter gossip that's on there, where it shows him, like, playing with it. It's so cute. Hi, Pinecone. Hi. Are you lounging on my new Chase Lounge with my Pygmy Puff from Harry Potter World? Yeah? You like the Pygmy Puff? Don't eat it, Pinecone. That's rude. <laughs> You're cute, Pinecone. He really likes the little pygmy puff. I want a pygmy puff, like from Harry Potter. Like I wish that I could actually have a pygmy puff. Um, they're so cute. They're such like little cuddly things. And then in one of the books, don't they make like miniature teacup pocket pygmy puffs where they're like real little? That's so cute. Anyway, I'm like sick over that dog food flavored jelly bean. Okay, don't ever eat dog food flavored jelly beans on purpose. They're gross. Okay, then I got a chocolate frog, which I think this is the one I was most excited about. And I'm going to open this because I haven't opened this one. We got two. I got one for my little sister. And we opened that one and kind of like poked around. But I haven't opened this one yet. If I open it, it means I'll eat it. It's like hard to open kind of. The packaging on this one's kind of ornate. It looks like what you would imagine from the book. And then when you open it, it's basically just a giant chocolate frog. <laughs> it's literally like a frog shaped chocolate. Obviously, it doesn't like bounce around and hop and go out of train windows like in the movie but you can't expect everything when you're a muggle so that's what it looks like and it's really good chocolate too like the chocolate itself tastes really good and then of course you can expect to have a little card in the bottom and I have Ravenclaw in this box and she doesn't move or anything but they do make it like holographic so it kind of looks like she moves a little bit which is cooler than just having a regular picture, I suppose. When you're in line for the Forbidden Journey ride, you go through the castle and you go through a couple rooms that have like all the artwork on the walls and they're all moving and talking to each other and it's kind of really cool. Like the special effects are amazing, much better than you would expect. And the guy in front of Blair was taking pictures of these artwork pieces and there was a sign on the wall that said, no flashes, like no camera flashes, no cameras allowed in here or something. And he took a flash of this one picture and it spit water out at him. It was so funny. It got all over Blair too because she was right behind him. But it was kind of funny that they, like it made it look like the picture was spitting water. And there's this one room you go into where Harry, Ron, and Hermione are like up on this thing explaining about the ride and stuff. And it's like a hologram. So it's like a 3D. It really looks like there are people up there. It's insane. It doesn't even look like a screen or anything. It looks like 3D living people are up there. It was so crazy. Even my dad was like, I don't know, maybe they're actors. I'm like, they're not, act I mean, they are actors, but it's the people from the movie. It's not them. They're not up there like saying the same thing over and over. Okay, and then last thing I have is pumpkin juice, which I've always actually been really excited to try this as well because I never could figure out what pumpkin juice would taste like. So this is what it looks like if this little thing comes off. I put this in the fridge when I got back. I brought it back with me, but it hasn't been open or anything. I haven't actually tried this. It says chill and shake well before using. So we'll shake it up. Okay. Ew, it smells kind of gross. It smells kind of pumpkin. Pinecone, you do not need that dog food flavored jelly bean. He's like, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Okay. I'm kind of scared to try this. It kind of smells gross. It tastes like apple cider like chilled apple cider but it's pumpkin cider it kind of has that like spicy kind of feel to it but it definitely has a pumpkin pumpkin spice taste i actually definitely would drink that if that was available in like a mainstream store i think i would actually buy this as like a real thing they need to sell this um yeah it's like apple cider but it's pumpkiny i like that 
So those are all the treats that I got. Um, I didn't buy a whole lot because they were kind of expensive. Like the chocolate frog itself was like $10. So I didn't go crazy and buy every candy they had. But I did want to try a couple of the things just being as big of a Harry Potter fan as I am and stuff. But um, I'm probably going to stay away from the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans just because that really traumatized me. But I really do like this. So if you go try this, try the Butterbeer and try the Chocolate Frog for sure. So, and get a Pygmy Puff, and we can have, like, Pygmy Puff kids together. So that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.